Innovate TV, Advancing Kingdom Lifestyle. I delight in you, oh God. I put my trust in you this afternoon. Rekayan Tarabaso Kolira Magayana. Oh, you're worthy, oh God. I bless your name, oh God. Sherepekayan Talala Magayana. Lekaya Talabaso Kolira Magayana. Lekaya Talabaso Kolira Magayana. Receive my worship. Receive my worship this afternoon. Lekaya Talala Maga Sekerira Mayana. Lekaya Talabaso Kolira Magayana. I give you glory. I give you honor. You're worthy. You're worthy, oh God. Lekaya Talabaso Kolira Magayana. Lekaya Talabaso Kolira Magayana. In your praises, that's where I receive my strength. In your praises, I draw my strength. Rekaya Taraba Sokolina Magayanda. Lekaya Taraba Sokolina Magayande. You're my everything this afternoon. Likaya Taralala Mayanda. Lift your voice unto him. Shalaba sokora magaya talalana, lekaya taraba sokorira magaya talalana, lekaraba sokorira magaya ande. Sing a new song to the Lord. Sing a new song to Him. Rekaya talala masokorira magaya ande. Father, You are worthy. I worship Your name. I glorify Your name. Rekaya talala talala magaya ande. Oh my life, you have been so faithful. You have been so faithful, oh God. Rekaya talaba sokolina magayanda. Ye karaba sokorebe kaya talalala. Ye karaba sokolina magayande. What you need this afternoon? It's my worship. It's my worship, oh God. Shala magayan talalala. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. Shalamayanda. Thank you, Lord. Oh, 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 for your name is holy. Holy. Oh, this afternoon, your name is holy. For your name is holy, holy, Lord. For your name is holy, holy, Lord. For your name.
Your name is holy. Yeah. Oh. That name is holy.
We worship you, Father God. Mande Bashada Badose. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I love you, Lord. For your mercy never fails me. All my days have been held in your hand. 
From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head I will sing Of the goodness of God All my life you have been faithful All my life you have been so, so good Every breath that I am made I will see of the goodness of God Let's say, I love you, Lord, together. Lift your voice and say, I love you, Lord. For your mercy never fails me. All my days have been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head. I will shout of the goodness of God. Oh my life, oh God, shall deliver. All oh my life, you have been faithful. Oh yes, you are. All oh my life, you have been so, so. Get a shout out about us. Yeah. Your goodness is running after, is running after me. Your goodness is running after, is running after me. With my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running after, is running. It's running after Your me. Your goodness is running after Your goodness me. is running after It's running after me. Oh, yeah. With my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running after It's running after me. Your goodness is running. Your to me how you are so bad. every breath that I am able I will see of the goodness of God I will sing I will sing of the goodness of God I will sing I will sing of the goodness
give God praise. He's worthy of all the glory. Shanda Bradisha Kepa Bagadashtela. Kende Brosibla here da Sote Bradia. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. We praise him, we lift him, we glorify his name today. In the name of Jesus Christ, somebody say amen. Let's give God the praise for the worship team as they take their seats. God bless you. You are a blessing to all of us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They are quite good. Amen. You know, sometimes I sing on high key, but they got it. <laughs> they got it. God bless you. We're so glad to be here this morning. We give God the praise. We appreciate Apostle Juma and uh, Prophet Asunta in their absentia. And thank God for this platform they've created for us to speak the word of God. And thank God for Pastor Gigi and also Pastor Mark, his prophet Mark. And also, uh, you know, thank God for, you know, whatever is happening in this ministry. Amen. And we thank God for what you're doing in the ministry. Brother Fred, what a humble servant. Praise God. I came with a team. I think if you look in the second row there, that is my son from um, Thika with his wife Eunice. He always say, Papa, greetings from my wife Eunice. <laughs> and uh, there are other people from the, the ministry there. And at the end there is Prophet Anne. You know, she's been coming the whole week. And also my son from Utawala, you know, uh, Pastor Steve. And also we have uh, Pastor uh, Bishop Cassandra is back today. I think that she is smaller than him. He's going to come to me. And he came with his wife. She's Bishop Mary. Uh, thank God for what the work they are doing there in Buruburu, the Tonia Hotel. <laughs> Praise God. We just want to share the word of God. We may take our seats and thank God for all of you that have been coming from Monday to Friday because if you never came, I was not going to preach. <laughs> so, so clap for yourself. <laughs> Hallelujah. Today we are concluding the subject we began and that is building according to prophecy. And we discussed, you know, some, uh, some areas that needed to be built on. So we are dealing with how to deal with personal prophecy or what do I do with the personal prophecy I've received in order for it to come to pass. I said God has got a smaller percentage, you know, to do than you are because when the word comes from God, it becomes your word. So we said the first thing you must do as the, 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 you must uh, personalize the word of God. It becomes your word and not the word of the prophet who said it the prophet is just an instrument we said number one we must read record read and meditate on the word number three to two we said we, said we must witness and wage a good warfare with the word in prayer so it's prayer number three we said we must reveal that word with your spiritual oversight and number four you should never do anything that is against what you have received unless god instructs you to do that and five, we said we must confirm the word with biblical uh, principles. The word of God is the highest level of authority according to 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 19. Number six, we said the prophecies are always conditional. God says, I will do this if you do that. Seven, remove every weed, every undesired thing. We discussed that yesterday. The things that you don't need, you must remove them. Sometimes it's friends who are discouraging from what you receive from God. It could be pride and many other things. Unforgiving in unforgiveness. And also we talked about unconfessed sin can hinder the promise of God to come to you. And I think that's where we ended yesterday, isn't it? Is that so? Are you sure? Number eight, we said, allow God, allow God to change from your character. How can you forget that most important point yesterday? Allow God to form a character in you because sometimes God will not give you the word or will, make, will not make the word come to pass if you are not changing your character. Praise God. For example, someone can say God will give you a million shilling next week and God sees that your character is not changing. If you get the million shilling, you're going to mis mismanage it or you're going to have seven wives. God says no. He's not yet ready. So you form your character first. You know, and number nine, let's discuss number nine. When you receive a prophetic word, one of the things you must do is to wait patiently upon the Lord. Wait patiently upon the Lord. Psalm 40 and verse 1. Psalm 40 
and verse 1. The Bible says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. Look at two words there. Two words, wait and patience. They mean the same thing. To wait is not to be anxious about something, is to give time for the thing before it happens. And patience means, you know, uh, the ability to wait. So there's an emphasis of wait, wait. I wait patiently. I wait patiently. I waited patiently upon the Lord. Thank you, man of God, Pastor Mark, for coming. We talked about you already. <laughs> now, the Bible is very clear. David said, I waited. Now, Psalm 40 is one of the Psalms that was written by David because 119 Psalms were not all written by David. There are about 12 other writers of Psalms. But this one is David. I waited patiently upon the Lord. Why? He was wait let's Look at verse 2. Before we can go in, look at verse 2. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit. Out of the muddy clay, or the dirty clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my steps. Now, that waiting was not for good things. He was in a bad state. And yet, he said, Lord, I'm waiting for you to come through for me. Now, when things happen to us and the word is spoken, sometimes when you look at the status quo, what you are going through and the word spoken to you, they don't reconcile. That's why when you are a prophet or one that God is using to prophesy, you must be very alert and also just prophesying takes faith. I was in Mozambique and the Lord gave me a word over somebody. You know, the guy was wearing an overalls, no overalls. And he was wearing a long, long boot. And he was dead. When I came close to him, you know, he had that, you know, nice stench. You know, nice stench. You know, that type of people, when he lifts his hands, you can fall under the power of the armpit. There's anointing coming from there. And the Lord said to me, tell him he's going to work in the bank. So I passed him. I gave other people prophecies. God said, go back to him and tell him he's going to work in the bank. I passed him three times. So my interpreter in Portuguese, Pinto, I said, ask him in your language, does he want to work in the bank? And the guy was, sing, 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 sing. Yeah, banco, banco, sing, sing. I said, I hear the Lord say. <laughs> Because sometimes, I'm being honest with you, sometimes you don't know mm, the way God said this one, the, the way somebody is looking at the word that comes, they're two different perspectives. And sometimes even yourself, when the, somebody says to you, this is a word God sent you, you said, I just make me feel good. Isn't it? So David, he's in a muddy clay. Things are very hard for him. And the Bible says, this man, that's the prayer we're going to pray with as I close today, that's the prayer we're going to pray with. God take us out of the muddy clay. Now, many of us have received a prophetic word and it did not seem like it's what God is saying. So, we don't wait. We just maybe despise it and go. Because we don't think it's, it's the right thing for me to hear. This pastor is just lying. You know, the Bible says he waited. So, wait patiently. We have told in the book of Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. I read reading from verse 29. Isaiah 40 verse 29 to 31. says, um, he gives who God gives power. That word power is the word kowach, k double o s c h, which means ability, which means anointing to execute. Praise God, which means being able to. He said God gives power to the weak, and to those who have no might, He increases strength. Look at this, even. The youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. Why? Because the young men's blood is running faster than the old men. So all the time, people who are older, they get tired. The older you are, the more tired you become. The earlier you become tired. Look at verse 31. But those that wait, but those that wait upon the Lord, that word Lord is in capital, all the letters, it means Yahweh. 
it goes beyond just god the lord being the master and the uh, the master and the owner that the, all the capital letters the, the capital letters means yahweh shall renew their strength yahweh means in yahweh there's a creator also it shall revitalize you they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint that word ego in that scripture is the word prophetic word god said in the book of exodus 19 verse 4 he said i carried you out of the slavery after said, you you've seen how i did the egyptian and how i bore you on eagle's wings that means eagle's wing is riding on the prophetic word eagle's wings the eagle has got the seven characteristics of a prophet the prophet must have the eagle's eyes so the ego that's why you find everybody who's got the prophetic ministry they've got an ego in them in their ministry it's an ego all the time god said i carried you under the eagle's wing the prophetic word and i took you out praise god Hosea chapter 3 chapter 12 verse 13 Hosea 12 13 eagle's wings the prophetic word he said by a prophet god the lord brought you brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet was preserved the first prophet there mentioned is moses the second one is joseph moses took them out as deliverance and joseph was a preserving prophet there was no food he had food enough for the family even though they rejected him i told you to walk a prophet you must have a good heart joseph was sought by his family but joseph kept the family the food for the family when the whole israel had no food he said i've got enough for you come and eat he preserved them when there was hunger by a prophet by the prophetic word so waiting on god means relying on god to wait means to depend on god to wait means to trust but they that trust in god shall be like mount zion that cannot be shaken or moved praise god wait on god the principle of waiting is found in many scriptures but one of the greatest man that we can get this from is jesus jesus heard the voice of god to god ministry but jesus waited for 30 years to become a pastor for three years what an example 30 years of waiting and only do ministry that's a ratio of one to ten. One to ten ratio praise god tell your neighbor don't rush i said when we were in university or in, we call it university university we heard some some people heard the voice of god they have called in the ministry bishop they quit they've got two more years to graduate no i've been called i'm an evangelist i need to go and win souls <laughs> they're half-baked christian amen so why don't you start evangelizing with the students because you're already in a place where there are people not everyone god has called must open a church some prophecies into ministry are just for you to submit an evangelist must sit under the apostolic go back the apostolic church or house must fund you to go and win souls they put up a crusade you preach the souls they come in the house of god hello but it's caused people to open some people open churches because of lack of patience and desiring to be known by who i don't know jesus waited for about about 30 i mean about 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 30 years 30 years of waiting this is to wait is in biblical principle it means to have a meaning of waiting in active expectant faith waiting with an active expectant faith i know this prophetic word shall come to pass i know as you are waiting you are doing other things you are praying as you are waiting you are still doing other things praise god you are trusting as you are waiting you are still removing everything that can remove the word of god to come to pass as you wait god begins to build your life and you receive the word as the lord has prepared for you praise god waiting is important but it's not easy especially when you know what you want hello hello 
I like giving practical examples and always things that you always know. If a guy has hated God, that is your wife. And he comes to her, and he comes in a good way. Oh, um, I've been thinking about you, and you know, I'd like to, to marry you. And she says, wait. Some men don't wait. No, oh, I've hated God. She's just stubborn. It's you who hated God. She never hated God. Isn't it? You come, pastor, I've hated God. That woman, she doesn't pray. She can't. God told me, she, the pastor will tell you, that's why it's very important to, re, to take your word to the pastor. The pastor will tell you, you hate God. If God is in it, just wait. She won't miss God. We'll pray for her. Praise God. One, one, one lady was, you know, close to the pastor. You know those girls that, you know, grew up with the pastor. The, the pastor mentors them in the home. And she became a special child, the pastor. And one brother came from another church, wants to marry her. And she's telling the pastor, can you imagine that brother is asking me out? He wants to... And the pastor, who's the father now, says to her, if you don't accept, I'm going to ask another, you know, another girl to marry him. <laughs> Because I know he's a man for you. I've been praying for you. And God showed me he's a man. But I couldn't tell you because he didn't come. Amen? So pastors play a major role in this thing. Number 10. Uh, number 10 is important. Receive God's promises in faith. I said every prophetic word is a promise. Why? Because it must be activated by the recipient. I must agree with the word that God has spoken. If I don't agree, it won't happen. And that means, that doesn't mean God did not spoke. God spoke it. But you must agree. That's why it's called a personal prophecy. It is your personal word. The prophet or the woman who spoke to you in the market was just used by God. Amen? As you walk by, you see the power of God because you accept what God is saying. Scripture shows that people of God um, have missed God's best for by not receiving his word. Look at Hebrews chapter 4. Hebrews 4 verse 2. Says, for, in, for indeed the gospel. The gospel was preached to all of us as well as to them that were with us. But the word which was heard did not profit them. Because they did not mix it what? Faith. Look at verse 3. But for we who have believed do enter that rest. As he has said, so I saw in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest, although the words were finished from the foundation of the earth, the world. You look at the Bible, the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 3. Hebrews 11, verse 3 said, By faith we understand. By faith we understand that the world's we are, we are framed by the word of God. In other words, you can frame your world with the word you use. What type of life you want to live, speak that word into your world. Hallelujah. The world of millionaires is a world of those who speak millions. Your word creates your world. Glory to God. He said, we understand that by, by, by uh, the, the word, by faith, we understand that the wells were framed. To frame is to shape by the word of God. So that the things which are not what are seen, we are not made of things which are visible. Praise God. The Bible says, is, is the Lord of the visible and the invisible. Look at Colossians chapter 1 verse 15 to 19. Colossians chapter 1 uh, verse uh, 15 to 19 it says he is the image Christ the image of the invisible God the firstborn over all creation he was there before before all things said by him all things were created that are in heaven that are on earth visible and invisible whether they be thrones dominions principalities powers all things were created through him and for him look at the next verse there it says and he is all before all things and in him all things consist consist oh late 18 and 19 says there it says it says verse 18 and he is the head of what of the church the body the church who is the beginning the firstborn from the dead that in all things 
he might have rule or preeminence. It pleased the Father that the fullness of God, her cathedral, must dwell in Christ. That's why we say in the name of Jesus, demons tremble. Faith says, we think things that we didn't see, we speak them to happen. Praise God. Romans chapter 4 and verse 17. Faith causes things that are not as though they were. That's, the, that's how God defines faith. He said, ah, God, he said as, I have made you a father of many nations in the presence of him whom he believed. God who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they exist. Praise God. Now, the God, God is a God of faith. When we say God is faithful, we are saying God is full of faith. Faithful. You didn't get that one. Faithful. Full of faith. That's why God believes in you more than you believe in yourself. Sometimes we disappoint him. Faith is a substance of things hoped for. The evidence of what? Things not yet seen. In other words, faith is a guarantee. I believe in God for a Toyota. Every person in Kenya and I pray for cars, they say, I was looking for V8. V8. They want V8. Isn't it? Now, you are believing God for a V8. By the way, V8 is not a car. V8 is an engine. Hello? Even my small Porsche, very small, it's a V8 engine. So V8 is not that big. No, no, that is just V8. They're saying the engine is bigger than V8 is an engine. There is also V12 in the Lamborghini. So it consumes more petrol. Are we together? Because V8 is not a land cruiser. No. There is also a land cruiser which is V6. Smaller engine. So, but I understand. So let me be Kenyan. If you have been God for a V8. <laughs> So, this is your V8. Give me that bottle. This is your V8. Oh, that is your V8. It must be big, isn't it? <laughs> so, this is your V8. Believing God for a Land Cruiser or Pajero. And so, faith says, this is faith. Okay? I'm believing God for V8. So faith, for now, faith is my V8. Hello? So I'm praying. This faith I'm holding on to, I'm seeing my V8 in the... Because faith is a substance of things hoped for. V8 is hoped for. Faith is also the warrant. Faith is also the guarantee of the things I've not yet seen. So the V8 is there somewhere, but faith is all I can see. This is my V8. It's coming to pass. I shall drive you. I shall come into you in the name of the Lord. As you are praying, the V8 is coming for you. Because faith is a representation of what you are praying for. Come on, clap your hands. So when you are having faith, you are saying, every word that is spoken, add faith. The Bible says, then things happen to them. So the V8 is not far from you as long as your faith is intact. Now, faith has got enemies. And one of the enemies of faith is doubt. The second one is fear. Fear and doubt are husband and wife. And they have a child called failure. <laughs> I don't know, choose which one the wife. Faith, is it doubt who's the wife or fear? But one of them is, is they're a couple. And they have a child called what? Failure. The Bible says because they didn't have faith, they failed. But us who believed, the word works for us. Stay on it, but the word works. The Bible says in uh, Romans chapter 10 verse 17, faith comes by hearing and hearing what? Let's get that. So faith comes by hearing and hearing by. Now, now look at that English there. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by. So it's not just hearing the word of God. It's hearing the word of God the way the word of God is. 
Because I can preach the word and don't faith doesn't come. But if I can take it the way it is, because my definition of my my definition of faith is faith is taking God at His word. Nothing's moved, must, must be changed out. If God says you can be healed, nothing must change. So faith comes by. So if I add faith to the prophetic word, now when people receive a prophetic word, the only thing pastors tell is that sow a seed, isn't it? What about all these things? A seed is probably the last time. Maybe I'll make it as, as because these are twenty points I always teach, but I'll give you ten. So next time I bring the book, you buy it for the other ten. Amen. Those pastors who write books. You, Pay and buy the books because that's how we also we need to eat. Not telling us bring money now or you die now or you die. No, I put the same one. I said, please buy this same one because it's not free. Free things are not appreciated. Amen. So if you know any pastor, me whenever I hear pastors, I buy books. You know, even my daughter was here the other day. The, the singer, she said, I bought five books. Sometimes I've known, I'll just put them in the. I'm reading one of them, but three, I'll bless another singer with a book. Praise God. I don't know why I'm saying this. Books will also add. For some of you don't have, a, uh, don't have a desire to read the Bible, but read the books. A man called Clefro Dollar was sick. He was diagnosed with prostate cancer. No Clefro Dollar? When he had cancer, he said he went to his spiritual father called Kenneth Copeland and his mother called Gloria Copeland. She writes small books on healing. He said, I bought all the books they've written on faith and healing. And I locked myself in my house. He said, truth be speaking, I didn't pray a lot. But I was reading about healing. Reading about healing. A week later, I went back. Cancer gone. There's power in the word. Amen. So faith, when I read the word the way it says... My faith is activated and my prophecy comes to pass. Praise God. This is very important. Glory to God. While the accomplishment of any prophetic word is largely about, uh, uh, dependent on God's will, our role is to process that in faith. Our role is to give God freedom to make whatever changes by faith. Lord, I believe this word shall come to pass. May I not miss your track, Father. Help me. I believe it is my word. It shall come to pass. If what this man of God has said is the word for me, for me, God, I take it. Praise God. I lambano. To lambano is to take it by its horn. I take you and I take you and I take you. Amen. So when you get these things, we begin to know that the Lord wants us to know his word and begin to walk in the prophetic word. Now, prophecy must not be a gimmick. Prophecy must be clear from the Lord. Prophecy is not something we plan. I don't remember a day I said, today when I go to church, I'm going to prophesy. No. <laughs> Hello? Hello? How many want a prophecy? How many want a prophecy? Come, stand there. I'll give you a prophecy. Who else wants a prophecy? They are scared because of that. So, this is Pastor Gigi's side. They are living in sin. This <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Are you sure? Lift your hands. Let's stretch out our hands. Father, we thank you for our sister. We give a praise for our life and we know God that which you have said over their lives shall come to pass. And I hear the Lord says, I hear the Lord says, in this season I will rebuild what was destroyed over your life. The Lord says dignity has been lost and confidence has been lost out of your life. But God says I will rebuild again and I'll form you again and you shall become that which woman was respected in your place of work. I don't know where it is, but God says, I'll reform and I'll rebuild what was destroyed. I see God rebuilding, 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 rebuilding. People have spoken ill of you because they see what they never saw in your life and they don't see the great thing you did before. They've forgotten the work you did and God is saying forget about them because I will rebuild you and not man. I shall rebuild you, says God. I don't need to ask. I know that's what God is saying. 
Brandon said, is it true? Do I know you? Oh, you came also. Come. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for our sister. We give you praise for her life. Oh, they are coming now. <laughs> okay. We thank you for her life and we ask you, Lord, to bless her. And whatever, Lord, has been designed for her shall be hers. Thank you for our family. Thank you for what you have caused or got them to be. I pray that God give her guidance. The Lord says, direction is from me and not man, but I will direct you into the righteousness. For the Lord says, my direction shall be from me because I, the Lord your God, am the one who called you. Yes, sometimes you have said, maybe I'm not called. God says, I have called you. And I'm the one who has endorsed you to become a minister of the gospel. Yes, God, that Bible school, because I have called you, says God. <laughs> Lift your hands. Father, thank you for the people. I give you praise for what you've said and what you've done. There's a calling upon life that she's been running away from God says she take it now because it is from from the Lord. Can I have the musicians? I've got three minutes. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and glory because you are God. There is no one like you. We lift up your name, the name that is above all names. Father, I speak impartation over your people today in the mighty name of the Lord. Shande proshike palagadoshte mentusi pradi sheke paya mazu preke shute makite le prajute makata le pazunte mbroshte kepa le prajute ba lift your hands lift your hands la pazo receive impartation of God's word machete braka may God open your ears may God open your eyes may God open your mouth shante brasute pa paluse brakite shute pa mante brakite ba that brother here come that brother here Come, 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 come. Quickly, quickly, come. Kande proshika bala siteba. Hande bo sipra hande ziki polaka. Masute brakita abada. La sunde bra. I'm seeing a chain that is coiling your life. It's like you're coiled by a chain. That's why you're not going anywhere in life. There's a chain that is coiling your life. God is saying it is broken. It is broken. It is broken. It is broken. Pack it all up. Pack and go. Leave God's son free in the name of the Lord. Shande baha. Lo pradish te kamaya. We worship you, Father. Kinda Bahadaba. Lift the voice. We pray, Father. These are your men. These are your women. These are your sons and daughters. We pray over them. My God, my God. Let the anointing God be upon them. Let them receive impartation of God to prophesy, to see things that they have not seen before in the spiritual realm. This is the you know. This is the Come, 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 come. Lift your hands. La balega zoda brahada zikerebede. La kida bahando dodo shile baraba. New orders for your business. New orders. New orders. New orders. Kente brazuke pa. New orders. Eka ba shute ba. I see new clients coming to you. I don't know what you do, but God says that business God is bringing new clients. Kepaliada lose prakida. What seemed impossible, God is saying it shall make it possible. Receive it, makila ba. Eka pa ya pesule braya. Hey, mahe. We lift up your name, Father God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, oh. In the heart. I let the king be lifted up. Oh, Zahana. Lift your voice and say, Hosanna. Hosanna. In the highest. Jesus, I thank you that today my eyes are open, my mind is alert, 
my mouth is ready to speak the prophetic word activating me lord the prophetic in jesus name every form of destruction every form of calamity that has come on my life in order not to prophesy i shall prophesy in the name of the lord i shall prophesy in the name of the lord i shall prophesy in the name of the lord i shall prophesy in the name of the lord i shall prophesy i shall prophesy Ebala zunte pragideshta mante pagideshta braya losete brakite mikoto brakite manto ziki pa hiko in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for your goodness and mercy. Receive all the glory and all the honor. Come on and clap offering for Pastor Mark as he comes. Oh, hallelujah! As we are standing, can we appreciate the Lord for His servant? And for this week, it has been a wonderful, wonderful week. We are blessed. And we just want to release you uh, to go back to your workstations. May the King be glorified in your life. Glory to God. Um, just send your offering right now. Those of you that are watching, we also welcome you. Uh, the till number is appearing on your screen. You can send it and you'll see Life Church International. You know the offering has come to us. Those of you that are watching out of the country, you can use a wave number and uh, that will be great. If you have your cash with you, just come put in the offering bag. Tonight, tell your neighbor tonight. We are going to be here from 9 p.m. all the way to 5 a.m. our Friday Kesha. So we want to welcome every one of you to come and be with us. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. May God bless you. As you walk out, find someone, greet them, get to know their names. Let's meet again on Monday. Uh, next week, we continue the lunch of our services. Let the King be lifted up. Amen. Let the King